Well, very good morning and welcome to another Room in the Cotswolds video. Today we're visiting the beautiful village of Miserden here in the Cotswolds, close to the town of Stroud. The village is a little bit unusual for the area and it's owned and managed by the Miserden Estate, comprising 850 acres of woodland, farmland, a 17th century manor house and some beautiful ornate gardens, all nestled in the beautiful Golden Valley. The estate has been owned and run by the Wills family since 1913 and enjoys outstanding views of the Deer Park and rolling Cotswold countryside. We're going to be walking around the village and then we'll explore the surrounding estate land, walking through the woods to discover the beautiful lake hidden away at the bottom of the River Frome Valley. It's a bit of a misty, murky sort of day, so the light is not perfect for filming such a picturesque place as Miserden, but the sun does make an appearance later on in the video. So come with me as we explore Miserden and the surrounding estate. Now there are around 400 people who live in Miserden and many are employed by the estate to work on the farm, do forestry work or work in the award-winning 17th century gardens. All the properties you will see here are rented from the estate and all are managed to a very high standard. With the local pub we saw at the start of the video, the Carpenter's Arms, a village shop and a post office and a village hall, you do get a real sense of community here in Miserden. And the village in a way is very much frozen in time, with very little changed over the last several hundred years. Now until the Middle Ages, the village was known as Green Hampstead and was mentioned in the Doomsday Book. The name Miserden comes from Musadira, meaning Musa's, Musard's Manor. And Musard was the name of the family that held the manor at the time of the Doomsday Book. Robert Musard built Miserden Castle back in the 12th century. Now some of you of a certain age might remember watching the TV series in the 1980s called Cadfile, which was based on the historical medieval whodunit novels written by Ellis Peters. The stories were set in Mesodon Castle and given the name La Muse de Derry in the stories.
As you walk down the lane here, we'll come to the village church of St Andrews, which is Saxon. And like many churches in the Cotswolds, has a lich gate entrance and yew trees, although with this church, there is an absolutely magnificent yew tree arch we're going to see. So we'll arrive at the church in just a moment. So here's St Andrew's Church. Unfortunately, it was very dark inside and the lights did not seem to be working. So I couldn't do any filming, which is a pity as I wanted to show you the stained glass, a 14th century font and a rather magnificent carved tomb for Sir William Sandys, who died in 1640 and was a colonel who fought in the English Civil War. We'll have to come back on a brighter, sunnier day and make sure we film the interior of this lovely church. Now this rather lovely war memorial opposite the church was designed by the renowned architect Sir Edward Lutyens, who also did some work on Mizzenden House, originally constructed in the 1620s. Plus he reshaped much of the gardens, when you, which you can go and visit. We'll be exploring these wonderful gardens in a separate video I have planned, when the weather improves, as they are absolutely stunning.
Now, just around here, um, this is the entrance to Miserden, uh, the manor house and the fabulous gardens. As I said, we're going to go and see them on a different day uh, when the weather's great, because they deserve a video in their own right. Um, the house is not open to the public, but you do get some fantastic views of the house from the garden. So we're going to do that another day. But where we are now is the entrance to um, part of the estate and there's some lovely footpaths um, which you can explore. There's a handy uh, map of the estate which we'll show you in a minute. And um, yeah, we're going to head down this lane and uh, walk through the woods um, and somewhere down here tucked away um, is the lake. There's also a castle which um, I believe is uh, Mott and Bailey and you can find the remains of it but here's the actual, uh, that was the actual um, map but yeah let's go down now and have a walk around this beautiful estate and go and find that lake. So we are on the estate here. And this is the River Frome. Whoops, it's very wet. I'm trying to find the actual lake, but this is the River Frome. Goes through there, and I think this path comes out to the lake, which I'm told is worth looking at. So we're going to persist, but it's uh, quite humid. But the rain has stopped, so it's very muddy, as you can probably see and hear from the squelching. But we're gonna find the lake. I believe it's up this way. So let's uh, switch off and we'll switch back on. When we found it, we shouldn't be too far. It's somewhere in that direction. Well, we haven't found the lake, but it's a nice bit of the frame here. Hopefully you can see that, going through this wood. It's absolutely quiet. There's no one here at all, apart from me and you and the thousand subscribers we've got, but hey, am I on the right chassis here? No, there we go. Probably edit this bit out anyway, but if not. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I spy a large lake. So, we are here at the Miserden Estate Lakes, which uh, I'm told are nice. Actually, you can just see through there. Uh, yeah, as I say, wet and muddy, humid walk, but hey, a bit of exploring always does you good. So, we should be able to see the lake properly when we get past these trees. So, I'll keep filming. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There we go. It's the frome enters into the lake but there you go there we go look at that look at that a beautiful quiet still place nobody here but us Whew, look at that 
Absolutely amazing. A few ducks over there. Isn't it amazing? Beautiful trees. Coming into autumn colours just about. It's September the 7th today. So we're definitely on the way to uh, autumn. I'm just hoping you can get the colours here. Absolutely gorgeous. There we go. So there we are, look at that. What a great view of the lake that is. Absolutely splendid. As I say, trees are changing color. And uh, yeah, Miserden. This is the, the estate, but it's a woodland walk. Well, after all the rain we've had and the rain forecast, we're back on the right path and the sun's coming out. So you're going to look, hopefully I'll get some more shots of the village in the sunshine because it's a bit misty and murky and grey earlier on. But just thought I'd show you a bit of sunshine. This is a rare thing in England. But uh, yeah, look at this. Ain't it absolutely gorgeous? Hope you're picking this up wherever you are. And uh, yeah. Yep, absolutely sensational. Ooh, very wet grass, so if I fall over, apologies, but just want to show you a little bit more. Here we go. That's where we're heading, over there. And somewhere up there is the village. But we've got to go over a little stile here. So I'll see you in a bit. Bye for now. Bye. Well, we're definitely in the right way now. This is the walk path we came down earlier. We did take a wrong turn, but hey, that's what exploring is all about. So these buildings up here are the start of the village. And for surprise, surprise, we're gonna be heading to the pub next. And I'll film that as we approach. And uh, I think that'll be the end of the walk. Um, I shall do another video when we go around the house and garden. I want to go when it's a nice day uh, and when I've got more time. So I didn't realize how far it is just to walk to the lake and back, but well worth it. And we're seeing a lot of the lovely estate anyway, but there's more to see, more to explore. And that'll be for another video. So I'll say bye for a minute and uh, I'll see you when we get to the pub. See you in a So we're back in the village. I hope you enjoyed that walk around the estate and um, the lake itself. And uh, I hope you got to see the colors. Um, we'll come back in a few weeks on a nice sunny autumnal day. We'll do the house and gardens and we'll do the woods a bit more and obviously look at the changing color of the trees. But yeah, we're back in the village now and yeah, it's just an absolutely beautiful village. As I say, it's frozen in time. Um, everything is of a magnificent standard and yeah it's a lovely place to live um, for those lucky people um, who, who live here 
So we're coming up to the pub in a moment, and as always, that's where we'll um, end the video and I'll pop in for a drink. So I'll see you in a moment. So I arrive back at the Carpenter's Arms pub. I'm gonna pop in here for a drink, as I often do. And um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and do subscribe. It really helps the channel. And I'll see you for another video very soon. Thanks for watching, bye bye.